You can have Foxtrot extract dynamic data from a web table directly into an Excel spreadsheet with just a few simple steps. We'll start by utilizing Foxtrot's highlight technology for web tables. Begin by targeting the table and select the Start Highlight action. By targeting the highlighted cell, we'll use a Copy Data action, copying the value of the highlighted target directly into our project. We'll then follow by instituting a series of copy data and move highlight actions. By doing so, we can navigate across any web table, copying the desired information for later use. In our case, we'll send the information back to an Excel spreadsheet later on in the process. After creating these few simple actions to navigate across our table, we'll instruct Foxtrot to navigate to the next row, and loop the process until our highlight is in the final row. This will reduce the number of actions to be created and keep the scripting time down to a minimum. Here you'll see me create a loop, instructing Foxtrot to continue to copy the information until we're in the final row of the table. Once the proper information is gathered, we'll want to send it to an Excel spreadsheet. Begin by establishing a connection to the Excel workbook by targeting anywhere within the workspace. Watch as I instruct Foxtrot to plug in the values from the web table respectively. We can navigate around Excel very much like we did within our web table. Only this time, we'll instruct Foxtrot to send the data that was copied from the screen. We'll also move the selected cell as to keep the integrity of the table. Once the spreadsheet is filled out, we'll click play and run the script copying the information from the table, storing it on a local spreadsheet. In this example, I've only copied a couple of rows and columns from our table, but you can see it moves much faster than a human, and much more accurate too. We could also use a file template to increase the speed of this process and reduce the scripting time. For demonstration purposes, we'll save that for another video.